when I was at school, a lot of my friends were quite laddy, let's say, and I, I never really, I didn't really fit in with them. And it was quite obvious looking back now as a, as a teenager, I sort of suffered very badly with anxiety and that anxiety stemmed from the abuse. And I look back now and it was, it did, I, it, before I actively spoke about my abuse, it did, it did neg- uh, affect my relationship quite negatively. I, I definitely felt like I was the, I was the one person in the friendship or the relationship that was harboring a secret. And I was sort of lying to people about who I was because there was a secret. And, and I think at school, everyone has secrets and it's, but they're always silly secrets. Like, oh, what are your friend fancy someone else or like something like that. And it's, whereas I was there and I was like, I have a genuine secret. I was sexually abused for three years. And a lot of my friends who I was friends with in, in high school, especially, were a few of them were there. A few of them were sometimes in the same house when it happened. I struggled with those relationships, especially with, when it came to relationships with, with, with girls. I, I was always so anxious. At university, I sort of, I distanced myself a lot with where I grew up. I distanced myself with the friends I grew up with. And I kind of distanced myself from my family. I didn't want to go home. I didn't want to go home and relive all of that. All the guilt I've had to deal with in my life about feeling feeling like it's my fault and I felt guilty for him going to prison. I've dealt with that and I can get through that. But I'm still learning to deal with today is the guilt of knowing that my mum has to deal with it. My mum has to, she'll always be asking herself what else she could have done. And I know that there's nothing she could have done because it was so well hidden, it was so clever of the abuser that she would have never found out. But... I know she'll feel guilty because she's a mum and that's what mums do. My ex-husband, he just made made me feel guilty about everything. I felt that everything that was wrong in the relationship was down to me and it was all my fault. But I think it's because I had all that sense of worthlessness that it was very easy for somebody to come along and manipulate me and make me feel guilty. I beat myself up for so long thinking, why did I not, you know, with all the wisdom that I thought I had about people, why did I not read this man? I didn't have a good relationship with my mother. And again, I think it was easy for her to make me feel the guilt. Whereas really, you know, it was it was all down to her. But because I, I already carried all this worthlessness, it was just easy for other people to manipulate me and make me feel guilty about things. It was like I was carrying my mother's voice with me because she was the one that was so critical and made me feel so worthless right from the word go. And and I, I just feel like I carried that right through my life and it affected more or less everything. Relationships are incredibly complex for um, ourselves because... Well, let's look at, you know, a trauma like sexual abuse. It strips you of trust. How can you possibly trust anyone when that has happened to you? When we make relationships, you know, so let's suppose I meet somebody and I think, oh, you know, this is a really nice person. I'd like to be friends with them. So you find the strength and the courage because you know that you're um, hiding a lot, (laughs) as it were. And it's very, very hard, the more that a relationship develops, to stray from those intimate intimacies. Someone's going to ask you about your family, where you grew up, you know, about your mum and dad, your, your brothers, your sisters. It gets complicated. I have become absolutely skilled and proficient in deflection. Even when someone says to me, how are you? I'll say, yeah, I'm good. How are you? straight into that person let's let's just not go there so I deflect I deflect I deflect and deflection enables me to have something of a relationship it's going to be challenging especially for those closest to you because it's hard for them to see you in so much emotional pain I think it's really really hard if only my partner had well actually he's my husband if only he could have understood at the start but he just couldn't and so it became like a taboo subject, which sounds extraordinary because he could cope with my friends who were DID and support them like anything. But it's painful to be that close to somebody and unable to actually make it any better for them, really.
It's those people who don't want to know, who shut you off, even belittle you, avoid them. They're not going to be much help to you at this stage of your journey, but they might come back into your life later on 